Hello Capricorn. This is you versus them for January 29th through February 4th. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what's going on with you guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe, guys. What's going on with my Capricorn? Hmm. The Fool. Some of you are trying to, like, take a risk on something. There's something that you feel like is worthy of you giving a second glance even um very aries energy uh energetic i feel something that you guys are excited about that you're contemplating um maybe this is one of the options that you guys are um you know feel like it's probably a good decision to um good choice to make here okay let's see what's going on with your person Hmm. Stepping out of faith here with my Capricorns. What's going on with their person? The Four of Cups. Somebody's not liking it. I think somebody sees you... Um, somebody sees you like doing some things that you would not normally do. And I feel like they are not pleased with it at all. I think you're having a good time. You're expressing yourself. Maybe you guys are traveling. It's almost like you're exhibiting like you don't have a care in the world. And I feel like this person does not like it, that you're not sulking here. Okay? It's just what I'm getting, guys. Let's see what's interfering with you and this person on your side. There was a breakup here. I feel like this person rocked your world. Um, and I think that you are picking yourself up at this point. But right now, I don't think you guys are really open to um, exploring anything with this connection right now. Because I feel like, you know, it, it took you a minute to get up from this is what I'm getting here, Scorpio energy. It took you a minute to get up. All right. So let's see what's interfering on their side. The Knight of Swords. Hmm. I feel like this person is very angry. I feel like they, you know, they have a hard time taking accountability for whatever issues that they, you know, whatever they've done. It's like they, um, they have a hard time admitting that they've done anything wrong, that um, they've done anything to offend you. And it's just like they just want to kind of place all the blame somewhere else here. And so I feel like this person is not really wanting. It's like I feel like they're mad because they feel like you guys are getting over them. And they're kind of sulking about it. I think they're used to you. Um, maybe not really confronting them, but, you know, trying to work things out, trying to talk things out with them. And I think that's what they're wanting you to do right now. And I don't think you're giving them that attention. Okay? I really don't think that's that's the case here. And I think that's what is interfering is the fact that they're angry. They want to say something. But I also feel they they think they don't have a right to. So they, they, this person is bothered right now. Oh, okay. Let's see what your influence is here. Capricorn's influence. The King of Cups. You guys are just... <laughs> you're not letting this bother you. You're not letting this bother you. I think that you know that the person that you are dealing with may be an angry person. They may be an aggressive person. Um, somebody that speaks out of anger. And I think you're just like, you're, you're done with that. It's like you don't want to be bothered with it. And, um, you know, you were knocked down for a minute, but I think now you're getting back up. And um, you guys are getting st stability in your life. Uh, you're happy right now, what I feel. And I think you know just what type of person you guys um, have been dealing with here. Okay, let's see what their influence is here. The Five of Cups. Mm. They feel like you just don't give a shit anymore. And they're feeling like um, they're having regrets 
around how they acted. They want to talk to you, but <laughs> excuse me, but they don't feel like, <coughs> excuse me, guys, <clears throat> they don't feel like it's going to do any good. Okay. Because they, they know they hurt you. They know they hurt you. They're hurting right now. They're hurting right now. But, you know, if somebody was to like walk up to them, they would not know that they were hurting because they have, they're so good at hiding their feelings that um that is scary but i tell you what the way that they will react is like any little thing will set them off this person because this is what they're feeling they're not happy they're they're, they're hiding behind this this energy of oh i don't care what they're doing i don't care if they love me i don't love them either but that's not the truth they want to tell you the truth but this person's energy is such that they are aggressive in their tone. And I think right now they're just trying to tame it and they're holding everything in. But this person can explode on someone um, at any given moment is what I'm feeling here. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius energy over here on the side, okay? So let's see what's blocking you guys here. What's blocking Capricorn? Hmm. <laughs> You're exploring those options. Um, you know that this person is not the end all be all. They're not the best that you could do. You feel like you can do better. Um, you feel like this person tore you down. There wasn't anything um, stable there to begin with. And it's like you're, you're looking for um, better opportunities here. And I think you have them, honestly. I think you have them. You do have options. And I think that's why this person is really kind of um, salty right now. Okay. Let's see what is blocking them. They walked away. They were the ones that walked away. Um, you know, probably stated that they weren't happy there. That um, they couldn't be happy with you. Maybe that they didn't love you. But, um, and I think they were in and out. I think that you never really knew how this person was going to be from one day to the other. Very unstable energy here. The only thing that they're really stable at is being stubborn, is what I feel. Okay. Being aggressive. Being elusive. Feeling like... You know, taking no accountability for their actions is what I'm getting here, honestly. This person's great at the blame game. That's what I'm getting from this. The thing is, they want to come back. <laughs> I mean, they just do. They want to come back. Let's see what your advice is here, guys. Hmm. Explore the possibilities. All right. Explore your options. Pick yourself up, like I see that you have been doing, and explore what else is out there for you that you guys deserve, okay? It's just what I see. Maybe a fire sign younger, does not have to be younger, but um, somebody that's fun, I feel. And I feel like this is your energy. Um, you may have Aries in your chart somewhere, maybe Scorpio, but I feel like you guys are, you know, on this quest to explore what else is out there for you. All right. I feel like this person's waiting on you guys. Let's see what the advice is here. What's the advice for this person? The page of wands. <laughs> Honestly. I mean, instantly what I get, and a lot of cross watchers are probably not going to like this, but instantly what I got was just walk away. Find something else and just walk away. You know, they felt like it was, you know, it was best for them to leave this situation with you. Um, so now it's like, you know, I mean, this is what you wanted basically so this is what you have and um it is basically to to explore why 
you are or they are feeling regretful figure that out like deep down inside why why are they feeling regretful and I think this is more so pointing to the fact that they need to take accountability for their own actions because I feel like they themselves have put them here. Pretty cut and dry. Okay. Let's see what the outcome is for you guys. What is the outcome for Capricorn? What will they do? What will Capricorn do? Be happy. <laughs> have their wishes fulfilled. Okay. If you want a 10th cup, I think you could have it. If you don't and you're good by yourself for right now, I think that's okay too. Okay. I see you guys winning after um, you, you went through, you know, some upheaval, some turmoil here. Very upset, broken down, feeling broken, broken. And I feel like you guys, you know, you, you're getting your happy on is what I'm getting here. Okay. So let's see what they will do. What will this person do? Still be waiting in the wind. Still really not knowing what to do. But the thing is, this person has a bird's eye view. They know exactly what it is that they need to do. Okay? And they're just holding themselves back from it. But the thing is, when you have these choices in front of you, and you are taking your sweet time and doing it at some point the choice has been taken from you the choice has been taken from them here because you're exploring other options so they're like in between here with this page of wands you see how very different this page of wands is from this page of wands this one has his head up knows exactly what he wants this one has his head down eyes kind of tilted up kind of like not doing things with integrity not really want to see the truth not wanting to do what they feel is right like trying to get away with something okay um i, I feel like they can't get away from themselves here all right at some point they're going to have to look at themselves and see how they contributed to the downfall of this connection here all right so let's see let's bridge the gap between you guys here let's see let's bridge the gap and see what the energy is between the two of you the lovers hmm. this person's in denial they're in denial. They feel so much attraction for you. They feel so drawn to you. They know that you guys have this undeniable connection here. I feel like this, this person is a runner. And I feel like you guys have been the chaser. But I feel like these roles are getting ready to be reversed right now. All right. Let's see what else we've got. Gemini energy there. King of Cups again on your side. <laughs> Knight of Coins. This person's coming in. They are coming in slowly but surely. But here they come as a knight steel. Okay. Very, um, what do you call it? Very fast moving. But the Knight of Coins is not that fast. Um, they like to study a lot and, and see, you know, what is the best move for them to make. But the Kings are very stable energy. Okay. So regardless of when or how this person comes in, I feel like you're going to be equipped emotionally to handle them however they come into you. Okay? So we have Taurus, we have Scorpio, Aquarius, Cancer energy here, Pisces energy, um, Aries is here. Yeah. And Gemini, if I didn't say it already. So you guys, that's what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you guys soon.